With the help of the Almighty, my name is Rabbi Yisrael David Weiss of Nature Karta International, Jews United Against Zionism. I pray to the Almighty to bestow upon me his truth and his wisdom that I may be worthy of conveying his message and so sanctify his name and inshallah bring peace to the world. Assalamu alaikum. I am here in New York, but I am representing, with God's help, my Jewish brothers and sisters in occupied Palestine, occupied Palestine, and occupied Al Quds, Jerusalem, and my brothers throughout the world who are true to the Torah, true to the Jewish religion. Judaism is subservience to God, it is a religion of 3,000 years. The concept of creating a national home, which is Zionism in the state of Israel, is a transformation from, Jew, from religion to nationalism. It is a movement of a mere 100 odd years. Our religion is 3,000 years. We are forbidden because of our religion since the destruction of the temple 2,000 years ago to have one inch of Jewish sovereignty even in an uninhabited land. And certainly, we are forbidden to create a land on the heads and shoulders uh, of, an, of another people by stealing, by occupying the people of Palestine. This is a direct rebellion against God. And because we are Jewish, we are opposed to this and we stand in solidarity with the Palestinian people. Our rabbis from day one stood in opposition to the occupation. In fact, in the United Nations records, in 1947, July 16, 1947, before the United Nations ratified the Zionist State of Israel, the chief rabbi of Palestine stood up and stated, we furthermore wish to express our definite opposition to a Jewish state in any part of Palestine. And since then, and even before, but since then we've been standing and demonstrating in the hundreds of thousands, whether it is in Washington DC or in the streets of Jerusalem, and we've been brutally beaten and attacked. We've been arrested by the Zionists because we are true to the Torah and we refuse to f accept this evil, this criminal occupation. But we will not, and we, we will never serve in the army as my brothers and sisters get arrested daily because they refuse to serve in the Israeli army. We want the world to know that Judaism is a, a, a religion of subservience to God. And we, as according to the Torah, are required to show our gratitude to the people of the Muslim and Arab countries and in Palestine for embracing us and giving us a home for the, all these hundreds of years. And we used to live together in peace. And we will always remember that, these great years. And we will always stand and pray to the Almighty to bring an end of this occupation and to bring an end and a resolution to this terrible criminal Nakba. God will help with his compassion that this will end, as it says in the Torah, why are you rebelling against me? It will not be successful. We don't know when it will end, but we pray and we urge everybody to stand up and pray together with us and to go out and stand and demonstrate and go out to the Palestinian people and go around the world and all the, the international centers and let the world know that the freedom of Palestine in its entirety is what is the godliness and what is required. We went to our Baja Barajna, we were in Lebanon, we went to Sabr Shaltila, the refugee camps, and we, they gave us their keys to the homes and they told us, we want to return to our homes and we say, stand by them. This, with God's help, should be returned to the Palestinian people with their entirely free Palestine. Inshallah, God should help, it should happen sooner nowadays, speedily and peacefully. And I send my regards to all the Arab and Muslim people around the world. We want to live together in harmony with the free Palestine. Ultimately, may the Almighty reveal his glory throughout the world where all humanity will recognize him and serve him in harmony and peace. Assalamu alaikum.